Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly install Freemap Boots and then also I'm going to show you all of its features with some added extras on shortcuts and transferring other ELF files from your memory stick over to the memory card on your PS2. All these videos already exist individually but I thought I'd document the process all in one video so anybody who's new to Freemap Boots can hopefully find this video useful. So let's get started. The files that you're going to need are all going to be available in the download in the description and it's going to be the Freemap boot files and the first files that you're going to need is the FMCB. Firstly you want to open that and then copy and paste all these over to your memory stick. and then it should look like that and the first one that we're going to need is the packed underscore fceu.elf and that allows us to open a file browser that's then in turn going to allow us to transfer these files over to our memory card of our PS2 but the only way that this can be opened is by having a copy a legitimate copy of Action Replay Max There's a picture of it there, and there's. Um, I'll show you as we go through the process. But there's um, a memory manager and also a media player, and I'm going to be using the media player in order to install Freemap Boot onto the PlayStation 2 memory card. So what you're going to need first is a legitimate. 8 megabyte memory card, it can be black or silver, it doesn't matter. And also a memory stick. This in this one here is just a 2 gigabyte Kingston. And other things that you're gonna need to get the show on the road. So what I'll do now is I'll go over to the PlayStation and I'll show you how to install Freemap Boots on CPS2 memory card. And you can see Action Replay Max is in the tray, memory stick, PS2 memory card, and the browser is exactly as it would be on the standard PS2, just to show you that it wasn't already installed. And I'm going through the process exactly as you see it. And close the tray and load up Action Replay Max. And once you get to the screen that you'll see in a second, we'll be heading over to the media player. It should be already highlighted, but if not, you can scroll through to the um, next item or previous item and um, this will be the packed underscore fceu dot elf. Let's examine in the pen drive and there you see it, but if it's not, you can just scroll through there until it is highlighted. And then hit play, it'll take you into a file browser. You need to press circle for a select, but first press the select button and then go to configure elf path and hit circle. Go to mass, choose the frame at boot.elf, circle again, and then exit to elf, and it'll bring up the, the um, frame at boots install page. You'll need to format your PS2 memory card, so if there's anything on there that you want to keep, make sure you transfer it over to another memory card. Uh, hit format, FC, it's now you press X again to select. And then just go to normal install. Hit X, and it'll begin the installation process. As you can see there, it's the files that are being installed is 3.3 uh, megabytes in size, so gives you some room, uh, enough room for some game saves. I sped it up a little bit, but it takes uh, a, between two and two and a half minutes, something like that. You go hit OK, 
and then go to launch room at boot and then you'll see all the other options that have been installed and your PS2 is now officially soft modded. Or to, I keep, yeah, re make sure you take out the disc before you um, hit launch room at boot or else it'll just end up loading up the action replay max again. There we go. I'll be showing you all these options later, later on in the video, but um, that's what's on there now. I'll be putting some more stuff on there as well. Well, OPL I'll be putting on there, but I'll just go to the browser now and show you that uh, the files are installed now on the PS2 memory card. And there you go. Go on to the next bit. Now we've got Freemap Boot onto our PlayStation 2 memory card. I'll, the first two features I'll show you is one is a PlayStation 2 emulator, and you get into that using the U Launch function. And also I'll show you the SMS, the Simple Media System, and that allows you to um, play videos in the AVI format. And I'll, uh, I'll first show you back to the memory stick already transferred over the PS2, PS6 which is the emulator I'll open that up for you it has the BIOS in there download won't come with the games but that's where you put the games folders and it reads .IMGs and .bins What I'll do now is I'll uh, transfer a video over to the memory stick and show you that working on SMS. And now that's done, I'll head over to the PlayStation 2 and show you the next step. Back at the PlayStation now, I'm going to open up the U Launch, which is the file browser on Free Mac Boot. And um, again, you always press zero to um, select. And in this case, I'm going to be going to Mass, which is always the um, memory stick, and MC0 is the memory card in slot one, and MC1 is the memory card in slot two. I'm going to open the PS2, PSX folder, and go to the GUI pack.elf. And that'll take you to the home screen where we'll uh, configure the emulator. First, you'll select the BIOS, select the BIOS path, which is again mass, and then open the folder and that'll choose the path for that. And you can choose your signal type if your TV supports both, it doesn't matter. Emulate the sound size the pads and then you'll choose the ROM in this case it's a .img I said it before but it reads .bins as well not all PS1 games work but a good few do and then start the emulation and it'll boot normal straight away and again it'll just play like a regular game it's Good colours, good sound. There will be a bit of lag due to the frame rate of which I've recorded this, but when you're viewing it with your own eyes, it, it runs perfectly. Forgive me for the length of time that I did on the um, gameplay, but uh, it's just one of them. You can't start a game and not play it briefly. I forgot how to play it for a minute, but then. Um, it suddenly came to me and I did it okay. Now, yeah, I just want to say on the PS1 you can pick this game up for three, four pounds, but for some reason on the Sega Saturn it's exactly the same. Pay forty-five, fifty pounds for it. Now they get a couple of chains, so yeah, that'll do. But to uh, get back to the emulator home screen you press all the shoulder buttons and the directional pad up all at the same time and it'll take you back 
the screen. Right, next I'll be showing you SMS, a simple media system. It may play other formats, I know it doesn't play WMVs or MP4s, but there's potentially others that it can read, but the one that it reads all the time is AVIs. Now, when you start it, you'll have to press start and then configure it so it's not auto start for the hard drive, but auto start for the USB, unless you put your AVIs on the hard drive, of course. Save the settings and then you'll have to reboot and then you'll see when it starts again it'll automatically read the USB and all its contents. It's just a small animated movie that's not very long. It's I was learning the process a few years ago and I just, it was just simple in the extreme. You won't be able to hear the narration, but I'll give you a little brief insight. Now, that's this geezer's house. He's doing a bit of stargazing, spots a shooting star, thinks this is lucky day, but unbeknown to him, something angry is coming his way. No, you don't feel so lucky no more. Jackie Chan's mum did the narration, which is awfully nice of her. Right, and just um, triangle to go back, press start, brings up that screen again, exit, take you straight to the bootloader. And that's it for this part. I'll see you in the next part. In this section, I'll show you how to burn your PS2 backups using Image Burn. But first, you'll have to um, patch it so it works on ESR. And firstly, I'll show you how to do that. Also, this will be available in the download package. Open up PSR Dispatcher, click on the one, the .exe which will ask for administration access. Straightforward. Hit patch. Open up the window. In this case, do down patch. Simple as that. Now we can close all that up. Now open image burn. I'm going to place the disc in. For this, I'm using a Maxell DVD Plus R. Right image file to disk. Choose the file that you just patched. And the write speed at times four. Hit height. I'll fast forward now till it's almost complete. Quite sure what genre that is, but it tells you it's finished in a rather understated fashion. All right, close it up, eject the disc, and then we'll move over to the PlayStation. Right, I've just placed the DVD plus R into the drive and closing it up. Some PlayStations won't read plus R, so you're best off using minus, but luckily mine did, so I didn't have any minuses. So for the demonstration, luckily it worked. It should boot automatically into ESR once you place the once it's recognised the disc and it will go straight to the ESR, ESR home screen. And then in the bottom right, it will, there's the status. It'll tell you that the disc's in the drive. Launch the CDVD, and then it'll just play like a standard game. This is a PAL unit, and um, the game, as you can obviously see there, is Japanese. I've not got any gameplay apart from at the beginning because the frame rate is too slow and it's too jerky so I'm just basically showing you that it works. Great game though. And that concludes part one of this video. In part two I'll be showing you how to connect the hard drive using the network adapter onto your fat PS2 
how you rip games from the PS2 onto the hard drive and also with a program called WinHip which basically can read the hard drive that's in your PS2, the format of the hard drive that's in your PS2 and you can transfer over CD images or DVD images using the using a PC or a laptop using this particular program and also I'll be showing you how to use HD Loader and OPL which allows you to access the games that are on the hard drive and I'll show you also how you can create shortcuts on Freemap Boot and also how you transfer L files that are on a pen drive over to the PS2 memory card so thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in part 2 Bye.